Welcome to Designer 101, where we give you a sneak peek into how a fashion design comes to life. Today, we're working on the design collection featuring China Parks from Disney Channel's hit series, Ant Farm, that we collaborated on with our licensee, Jaya. The initial design process has a few key steps that we'll walk you through to get you on your way to designing your own great ideas. The design team first starts with their inspiration. In this case, the style DNA of China Parks from Ant Farm. We are inspired by China Parks' natural talent and her playful approach to color and print. Her passion for music and love of performing provide a great backdrop for our designs. Her style is a mix of girly glamour with a refined edge. Trending is an important step in the design process. Trends are up-and-coming styles, fabrics, details, and colors. It's important to pay attention to trends when designing as it helps you design the next new look. Another thing to consider at this stage is the time of year or season that you're designing for. The trend we're using here aligns nicely with China Park's look. For this trend, we mix clean stripes, bold pop colors, and punky florals as key elements. The season we are designing for is spring, so we need to make sure that the colors are bright and fresh and the prints are right for that time of year. Our next step is to pick a color palette for our designs, which is typically based on the trend and inspiration. Here, we're picking key colors that will act as the main colors for the designs and accent colors that are used as pops of color in the prints and the details. By establishing a color palette, it allows us to use it throughout the collection so that our designs work well together for easy styling. For our palette ground colors, we have electric blue, fuchsia, heather gray, and black. For our accent or pop colors, we have white, lime green, and a medium pink. As part of the design process, we need to select our fabrics and trims. This is done before we begin designing since you need to understand how your fabric works before you can design with it. Is it stretchy? Does it drape well? Knowing this up front allows you to design with the right construction details. We've selected a 160 to 170 gram knit jersey. This is a soft lightweight knit that has excellent drape and will work great for flowing knit tops, tunics, and dresses. We also have a 170 to 180 gram cotton spandex that would be perfect for our leggings. Once we have our trend, colors, and fabric selected, we begin sketching out our ideas. These are called fashion sketches or croquis. Croquis is the French word for sketch. This is an important stage in the process since this is where the designs actually start to come to life. I'm sketching a striped hip skimming tunic top with a ruffled hem detail and I've paired it with a legging. To get the look that I like, I go back over my drawing with pens and markers to add a little bit of detail and color. After the fashion sketches, we move on to flats. Flats are technical sketches that call out every detail of your garment. The trims, the fabric, even the type of thread you want to use. Here we lay out the stitching detail and styling details so that everyone working on the design understands every aspect of the garment. This also helps the pattern maker understand exactly what you had in mind and they can begin working on the first sample. Thanks for stopping by everyone and hope you enjoyed learning a bit about the fashion design process. We look forward to sharing more with you and hope it inspires you to design something too.